five wins in a row, arguably perhaps that one the, the best of the lot. It is, yeah. Um, I think any game you win in this league, to be honest, is a is a great win. But I think today, especially um, up against a tough opposition, you know, before kick off, um, we did everything we set out to do, uh, and the fitness levels were shown um, throughout the ninety minutes when we went out of ten men. And for me, you know, at the back of the, the middle of that back three, it looked as though we had eleven men, to be honest. Um, and uh, he showed that togetherness as well. The, the lads really knuckled down and um, we got over the line. Cause, you know, at 2-0, going down to 10 minutes, a dangerous scoreline anyway with 11, but going down to 10, it's, um, it's one of them that, you know, people might have been thinking, hang on a minute, we've, we've really got to knuckle down here, but thankfully the lads did do and um, we kept the back door shut and then obviously big Ivan up top were great today for us and, uh, and it, it was a good result. Four, could have been more because at 1-0 you know you could have been 2-3 <laughs> in front of half time maybe, got that crucial second and then to go and score two more when you're down to ten, I mean uh, the way that front line is working at the moment, just terrorising defenders. Yeah, you said it yourself, I mean, we should have been two or three up at our time, um, but I mean, we know ourselves that we're going to get more chances because, you know, the way the lads work through, from back to front, we're, we're going to create chances and it's um, and we are going to stick them, stick them away, so, you know, I think Dems might have missed one, you know, after he scored his goal and, you know, it's, it's just, he's got to keep his head up and, and thankfully he did that and he worked his socks off today and, um, and he was credited with his goal, which, which he deserved. Must be a pleasure for you as a defender watching those guys in action just tearing other defenders apart. I'm not going to stand there and say that they do all the work. <laughs> no, we um, <laughs> we uh, obviously the front the, the front lads have been they've been excellent and the pressing from back to front's been excellent as well. And throughout our 90 minutes, you are going to concede chances and they are going to you know put you under some kind of pressure. But any pressure they put under under us under today, we we dealt with really well. Um, whether it be from wide areas or central of the park, I thought we were really compact and we dealt with whatever they threw at us. If that's it, it's been complete team performances hasn't it over, over recent weeks, everyone playing their part and not a bad performance among you. That's it, that's key, um, you know it's been a complete um, team performance we've got together, you can see out, you can see from looking at, on the pitch when the lads are playing that the team spirit's there and, and we're on the same hymn sheet at the minute but we can't get too carried away with ourselves, you know five on the spin it's excellent, we've got ourselves back in Back in with a hell of a chance to be honest, because I think you look over the Christmas period, we, we fell off, and you know as the, the team's got games in hand, but all we can keep doing is taking care of what's in front of us, and we've been doing that last five games. Um, so hopefully that can continue, and we'll see where we get to. That's the key thing, isn't it? Not getting carried away, because there are teams with games in hand. That's that's a fact. Obviously, points on the board versus games in hand. I guess it shows you how much it went away over Christmas and New Year, and how hard you're now working to bring that back. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone's going to look, little look at the league table and see that you know games have got that teams have got games in hand on, on us. Um, but like I say, we can only con concentrate on what we've got in front of us. Um, and I thoroughly believe if we carry on that kind of performance and that kind of you know determination um, and mentality, um, then we'll be right up there come the end of the season. But it's up to us um, to carry that on. Another clean sheet today, your manager's been in and was praising the back line for the positioning from corners, from crosses, defending. Um, and you keep pulling off a couple of remarkable saves. I know one was offside anyway, but 17 clean sheets now, which is more than the previous five seasons. It's, um, it's something as a back unit that you're really determined to, to keep getting more and more of. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, you speak to any defender in our team, they, we take pride from clean sheets and it's nice to get a goal now and again. Um, obviously, I'm not on yeah, <laughs> He but, says. <laughs> yeah, uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's another clean sheet and and uh, we deserve it as well. You know, we, we t if we're to concede late on today, I mean, we, we concede against Ipswich, obviously the penalty, and it, it, it hurts. Even yeah, you're though still reading from that one, because it was a good tackle. Yeah, I thought so as well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, it concede at any point throughout the game, and 4-0 um, today, it was 4-0 at Ipswich, and to concede so late on, it hurts the lads, and that's a good thing, because um, we, we don't want to concede any goals, no matter what the scoreline is, and that's a, it's a good mentality to have. Of course, not without a couple of blemishes today, with the red card to Nathan Thompson and the injury to Frankie Ken. What, what, what's Frankie like? His manager's not sure how bad it is, but it, obviously heavy brace on at the end of the game. He did do, yeah. I mean, I've had a couple of injuries, uh, knee injuries in my career, and it, the, it's tough to say at this stage. Um, you know, it'll, it'll probably get scanned on Monday morning and see what the, see what the damage is, if, if there is any damage. But we've just got to hope for the best because um, you know Frank's been great since he's since he's coming to the club for me. I uh, played alongside him, and and uh, he's a good character to have around. So uh, I wish him all the best. And Nathan Thompson suspended as well. It's been you three, hasn't it? You, Frankie Kent, Nathan Thompson, and now you're going to be probably alongside two, not new people, but in that back three. Um, 
for, for Tuesday night? It's not a worry though. You know, we've got such a great squad. Um, and any player that does come in is, you know, Niles come in today and it's been fantastic. And, you know, we've got good players, we've got good options. Um, obviously, it's disappointing for Tomo. Um, you know, he's been doing, doing really well, uh, come back from injury and done really well. And, you know, for me, I think it was questionable, to be honest, the second yellow card. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. And um, this is where, you know, this stage of the season, you can utilise your squad and we're going to have to do that. Um, obviously that's not up to me, that's up to the manager, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, we take great confidence from the players we've got in the building because we have got a, a good squad. And as captain, how proud are you of this squad at the moment, the way you've turned it around from, from Christmas and New Year these past five games? It just it shows what we're all about, you know, our character, um, you know, to go six without a win around Christmas, I think some teams can go under, uh, but we're not, we're not about that. Um, we carried on, we knuckled down and the type of character we've got in this building again, you know, new signings coming in, they've given us something different to what we had before and again, I think they've been fantastic and a massive difference to uh, <coughs> to the team and that they're one of the reasons why we've gone on such a good run and uh, long may that continue because we need that going right to the end of the season. And you've given the manager a, a birthday weekend, a, a, a positive birthday weekend rather than a grumpy one with a, with a defeat. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I knew it was his birthday. <laughs> yeah, he brought some cakes in uh, last week, like so. You know, it's um, happy birthday to the gaffer, I guess. Cheers, man. And I suppose you'd be claiming an assist with you for setting that goal in motion. Arguably, the goal of the day, well, it was the goal of the day, but one of the best goals we've seen here. That fantastic intervention that somehow has ended up in the net for the second goal. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Your assist? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if Sky Sports have got that, but I'll claim that personally. Yeah. So um, yeah, but I mean, it's just again, it's just us doing our job and. Uh, quite often you, you find yourselves up the pitch from doing you know a, a good piece of defensive work and then you know we've got the players that take us up the pitch and we've also got the quality to put it in the back of the net. When you say you've given yourselves a, a hell of a chance, I mean I assume you're, you're referencing having a hell of a chance of landing a top two spot. Correct, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what that, you're all aiming for. Hundred percent, yeah. We're, we're we're not aiming top six. We're aiming top two. That's what we want to do, um, and I think that's realistic as well. It's not us being arrogant. It's bit. It's just us being confident. We're in a confident mood at the minute, and we'll be targeting that top two. Super. And uh, you know the form at the minute um, shows that.